Hello, and welcome to part seven, three corner scenarios requiring two conjugates. You might recall in our last video that we already saw an example of a situation that required two different conjugates. If that doesn't sound familiar, you might want to click here to go back to part six. Uh, also in our last video, we started talking about good pieces. Uh, good pieces were corner pieces that were oriented correctly and adjacent to where they belong. So looking at this cube, which is in our basic starting position, you'll remember that we said that this red, white, and blue corner is a good piece because the white sticker is on top, so it's oriented correctly, and it is also adjacent to where it belongs, right? It is next to the place where it belongs. We're going to continue to look in this video at other pieces that are considered good pieces, and we're also going to take a look at bad pieces. What is a bad piece? Well, a bad piece would be a corner piece that is, uh, let's say, oriented correctly, but it's not adjacent to where it belongs. Okay, so if this red, white, and blue corner belonged here, it would not be good for us. Okay, or you could be a piece that is adjacent to where it belongs, but it's not oriented correctly. Okay, so in order for a piece to be considered a good piece, it has to satisfy both of those requirements, oriented and adjacent. Okay, bad pieces are simply corner pieces that do not allow us to begin our commutator. Good pieces, of course, as we said, allow us to begin our commutator. So here's what I want to do. Uh, go ahead and take your cube and create this scenario, this basic starting position. And if you don't remember how to do that, we hold the cube with red in the front, white on top, and we're going to do our commutator, not once, but twice on the right side. Once, twice, and that brings us back to our basic starting position. Okay, double check your cube, just to make sure it looks just like mine. Okay, from this situation, Okay, uh, we're going to go ahead and change the cube just a little bit so we can take a look at more examples of these good and bad corner pieces. What I'd like you to do is uh, take the red, white, and blue corner and go ahead and give that a twist to the left. Okay, so it looks like that. And if you are noticing, I have got a cat here all over the place because I have so many cats. Uh, and with that corner twisted, uh, go ahead and skip past the second corner and go to this third corner piece. Okay, take this third corner and go ahead and twist that one to the right, like that. Okay, now you might be wondering, am I allowed to do that? Or is this going to mess up the cube? Well, looking at it from a solved cube, all we've done is just taken one corner and we went to the left with it. Whoops. <laughs> we took one corner and we went to the left with it. And we took another corner and we went to the right with it. Okay. This cube is still solvable because one corner needs to be oriented clockwise, the other one needs to be oriented counterclockwise. Okay. And that's okay. Um, you might know enough about cube theory to know that if both of these corners had been twisted in the same direction, like that, well, now this cube would be unsolvable, okay? If you only have two, they have to be twisted in opposite directions. And if you didn't know that, that's okay. You don't need to worry about it. But just take my word for it. This cube is still solvable in the position that it's in right now, okay? And let's go ahead and take a look at these different corners, okay? This first corner, the red, white, and blue corner, you'll remember before, was always a good corner. Not anymore. Why is this corner not good anymore? Well, it's still adjacent to where it belongs, right? It still is going to move here, but you'll notice when it gets there, it's not oriented correctly, is it? No, this white sticker is supposed to be on top. So our first corner is no longer a good piece. Let's take a look at this third piece here. This third piece looks pretty good. It has the white sticker on top, and the white does match the center, so that tells me that this piece is oriented correctly. But it's still not a good piece. Can you guess why? 
Well, the reason is because it's not adjacent to where it belongs. It's actually across from where it belongs. And as we said, across is no good. So even this third corner is no good. But, if you'll remember, this third corner is good. It doesn't have the white sticker on top, but it does have a red sticker here, which matches the red center, which tells me that if I hold my cube like this, with red on top, this corner is actually a good corner, because it is oriented correctly for the red side, and it is adjacent to where it belongs. Okay, So, I could solve the cube beginning with this corner piece. And I'd like to go ahead and do that now. So let's go ahead and do it uh, together. We're going to take this piece and we're going to use our left side commutator to solve it. But wait, we don't want to do anything just yet. We know we can solve that first corner, right? But our goal isn't to solve just one corner. Our goal is to solve all three of these corners, right? And you'll remember what we have to do in order to accomplish that. We have to look at the piece that's going to move here when this piece moves here. Well, what, pi what, what piece is going to go here? Well, as you can see, it's going to be the red, white, and blue piece. And here it is. What do we know about this red, white, and blue piece? Well, we know that the white sticker from the red, white, and blue piece needs to go here, okay, in order for it to be oriented correctly when it gets there. Do you remember what we have to do with that white sticker? Well, that white sticker has to be in front of the cube. Okay? So, we have to perform a conjugate to move the white sticker from, well, right now it's all the way in the back of the cube, isn't it? From the back and bring it all the way around to the front. And there it is. That's the white sticker that belongs here because it's the red, white, and blue piece. Okay? So, for this situation, we needed just one conjugate, and now we can go ahead and perform our commutator to solve the cube. Doing it on the left side, we'll do it together. One, two, three. The fourth move, you'll remember, is always rotating the unsolved corner up here. And you'll also notice that it's not just going to be one twist, right? It's going to be two twists to move it there. And that's going to be important to remember. Because if you'll recall, when we're doing the inverse of these moves, we're going to have to move this corner back down here where, where it started. Okay? So that was our, what was that, our fourth move? Yeah. F then five, six, seven. And our eighth move, again, is going to have to be moving this corner all the way back down here. And that's our eighth move of our commutator. Our commutator is done. All we have to do now is undo the conjugate. And the cube is solved. Okay, hopefully that uh, made sense. Let's go ahead and look at a, another example, one that's a, a little bit more challenging than that one. Um, from your starting position, uh, well, actually, yeah, we got to get back to that, don't we? Let's get back to our basic starting position. How do we do that again? Well, you'll remember two commutators on the right side brings us to our basic starting position. Okay? And from this basic starting position, this time I want you to twist all three corners to the left. All three corners twisted to the left. So one, two, and three. All three corners to the left. And now let's take a look at our pieces. Let's figure out if these corner pieces are good or bad. Well, the first corner piece is still bad because we kept it in the same direction it was before, right? We said this piece is bad because it's not oriented correctly, okay? Even if we were to orient, check this out, even if we were to orient this piece by putting the white up on top, it's still not going to be any good. Why? Well, because it's red, white, and blue, right? And this piece belongs here. So as you can see, even though it's oriented, it's across from where it belongs. And we said across is no good. It does not allow us to begin our commutator. So we skip the first corner. It's not going to help us. But look at this second corner. Let's figure out if this corner is good. It looks pretty good, right? 
it's oriented correctly, it's got the white on top, is it adjacent to where it belongs? Yes, it is. This piece belongs here, just like that. Okay? So that piece is good. We could begin our commutator, if we wanted to right now, on the right side. But let's look at this third corner first. Let's see what's going on with this one. As you can see by looking at it, it's not oriented correctly, at least not yet. It's got blue on top, it needs white on top. So do it. Let's move this white corner to the top. And you might remember this, we did this actually same thing in the last video. We perform a conjugate to move the white sticker up top. And not only did we move it up top, but by moving it to the top, it's also now adjacent to where it belongs. This piece is going to move here, where it belongs. Okay? So look at that again. I'll hold it with blue in front. And on your cube, you can do the same move with me, moving this white sticker up to the top here. Okay? And now it's adjacent to where it belongs. I could perform my commutator now and solve that first corner. But again, we don't want to solve one corner. We want to solve all three if we possibly can. Okay? Meaning this corner, this corner, and that corner. Those are our three unsolved corners. In order to solve all three, we have to look at the piece that's going to go here when this piece moves here. What color are we looking for here? You might remember from the last video, we're not looking for orange, even though this is the orange side. We're actually looking for the white sticker. Okay? It's always going to be the color that matches this piece here. Okay? These two are white, so I need white here. What else is this piece going to have? Well, it's going to be white, it's going to be green, and it's also going to be red. Red, white, and green. Where is that piece? Ah, yeah, here it is. Okay, red, white, and green. In order to move this piece here, I need the white sticker in front. Okay, you'll remember we've already done one conjugate, moving this piece up top. And now we're going to do a second conjugate to bring this white sticker down to the front. Okay? And that's it. Two conjugates. I'm going to perform my commutator now. And you can watch me do it or you can do it along with me. I'm going to do it kind of slowly. One, two, three. Notice that solves the first corner. The fourth move of our commutator is always moving the unsolved corner up top, and you'll notice it's one, two twists again. Bring this forward, back, and now our last move, move eight, is going to be moving this corner down here. Two moves. One, two. Okay? And I know the cube was looking kind of crazy there, but you can see just by looking at it now, we're not far away from finishing it. All we have to do now is undo those two conjugates. First we're going to undo the second conjugate. You remember we brought this down here, so we bring it back up. And then we brought this one over to begin, and we undo that one. And that's it. Okay? I know that was a little bit uh, tricky, so if, uh, you know, if you had a little trouble with that, you can always go back and take another look at it. Okay? In fact, um, I do want you to take another look at it. So uh, let's go back to our basic starting position. Okay. Once again, that's two commutators on the right side. Takes us back to our basic starting position. Okay, And don't worry, this is going to be the last thing I'm going to show you in this video. Um, let me show you what happens if we make a mistake. Okay, Here's what I mean. Um, uh, oh, what did we do? We did uh, twisting to the left, right? So let's take these three corners again. We want to go back to the same scenario we had a minute ago. So all three corners twisted to the left. Okay, And if you remember, this was the corner that we moved to the top. This white sticker goes up top. And we're going to hold the cube with blue in the front. Okay, So same as before. First, commutate, our first conjugate was moving this corner up to here. Just double check your cube, make sure it looks like this. Okay, Do you remember the second conjugate? Well, we said we needed white here, and here it is. We had to move this white sticker down to the front. Okay? But don't do that. Go ahead and put it back. 
Let's pretend that we forgot to perform the second conjugate and we solved the cube. Can you predict what would happen? Well, the answer is it would give us two orientation problems. Okay? The first orientation problem would be this piece. If I don't move white, if I don't move this white sticker to the front, then it means that this red sticker is going to wind up here, which is where I don't want it. And that's going to create an orientation problem. But you can't have just one orientation problem on a cube, can you? So that tells me that this red, white, and blue corner is also going to be messed up. It's also going to be oriented incorrectly. So let's prove it. Let's go ahead and do our commutator now. And you'll see how what this results in. One, two, three, four, just rotating that over, five, six, seven, eight, and again we have to undo our conjugate, moving this corner back, and we're done. And as you can see, those are the two corners that are still messed up, right? Red, white, and green, red, white, and blue. Okay? You'll never have just one corner that has a orientation problem, right? There are always going to be at least two of them. So, why did I show this to you? I'm showing this to you because it's going to happen to you. You're going to make a mistake along the way at some point, and you're going to wind up having a cube that looks like this, and you're going to think, wow, how did I do that? And it's simply because you forgot to do one of the conjugates. No big deal. How do we fix this? Let's go ahead and fix this quick, and then I'll end this video because I know it's getting kind of long. How do we want to fix these two? Well, I'll show you the way that I like to do it, which is by avoiding these orientation problems. Okay? What I like to do is I like to take these two corners and move them out of this location. Okay? And then bring them back so that they're oriented properly. Sounds complicated, but it's really not. All we're going to do from this position is do a commutator on the right side. Why? Well, if I do a commutator on the right side, it's going to cycle these three corners. And that's exactly what I want, right? I want to be able to move these two corners. So I'm going to move one, two, three. And it looks like this. And you can go ahead and do that on your cube. And you'll see what that gives us. That gives us a situation with all white on top and all three corner pieces oriented correctly, right? So, let's take a look at these three corners and figure out how we're going to solve the cube from here. It might seem complicated, but it's really not. Let's look at this first corner. What do you think about that? Red, white, and green. Okay? Well, it's oriented correctly, but it's not a good piece. Why is it not a good piece? Well, because it's not adjacent to where it belongs. This red and green piece actually belongs here, doesn't it? So, even though it's oriented right, it's across from where it belongs, and across does not help us. Let's look at this one. Uh, red, white, and blue. That one's oriented correctly. Is it adjacent to where it belongs? Yes, it is. That piece belongs here, doesn't it? And if I perform a commutator on the left side, yeah, it's going to solve that corner. But, we, as I've been saying all along, we don't want to just solve that corner. We want to solve all three at the same time. So we have to look at the piece that belongs here which in this case is red. Where is that red sticker? Here it is. Well, in order to get this red sticker from here all the way over to here, I would have to bring the red sticker to the front side, which is blue, right? So I'd have to bring it down and across. I don't want to do that. Because if I do that, then I'm going to have to remember to do that when I'm finished. There's always going to be an easier way. So if you just did that with me, let's go ahead and put it back. Bring it back and bring this up. There's always going to be an easier way, okay? And because I've done this a gazillion times, I already know what it is. This is the key, the blue, white, and orange piece, okay? So, as you can see, it's oriented correctly. It's also adjacent to where it belongs. And the conjugate that we need is going to be simpler than it was a moment ago. So holding the cube with orange in the front, Yet left side commutator is going to solve this first corner. We want to solve all three corners, so we have to look at the color that belongs here. What belongs here? Well, the blue. I need the blue sticker here. Where is that blue sticker? I don't see it. Well, I'll tell you. It's always hiding in the same spot. It's always going to be 
right here. Okay? So we have to take this blue sticker and bring it down to the front in order for it to wind up here. Okay? So it's actually two rotations. I guess you could say that. One and two. Okay? Blue sticker is in front, and now it's in position to move here. Okay? So let's do it. Left side commutator, one, two, three. Four is moving this one up here. Notice it's two turns. Five, six, seven. Eight is going to be two turns to move this down, back down here. One, two. And now I just undo that conjugate. One, two. And hopefully that made sense. I'll probably show that again in a later video because you will have that situation uh, fairly often where you have three white uh, corners all on top.